Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install and configure the DHCP service on a Windows Server 2025 domain controller. In this video, we will walk you through setting up DHCP on the server and configuring a Windows 11 client computer to obtain an IP address automatically. First, let's briefly discuss DHCP. DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a network service that automatically assigns IP addresses and other network configuration details to devices on your network, making network administration much easier. By installing and configuring DHCP service on your Windows Server 2025, client computers will be able to automatically receive IP addresses, default gateways and DNS server information. Let's begin by installing the DHCP role on your Windows Server 2025 domain controller. First, let's open Server Manager. In Server Manager, click on Manage and then select Add Roles and Features. In the Add Roles and Features wizard, click Next until you reach the Select Server Roles page. Check the box for DHCP Server. When you select the checkbox, you will get the pop-up asking to add features that are required for DHCP Server. Click Add Features. Click Next. On the next screen, just click Next without selecting any additional features. Then click Next again to proceed to the confirmation page. Click Install to begin the installation of the DHCP role. The installation will take a few moments. Now that the DHCP role is installed, we need to configure it. In the Installation Progress window, click Complete DHCP Configuration. The DHCP Post Install Configuration Wizard will open. Click Next to begin. In the authorization screen of the DHCP Post installed wizard, ensure your Active Directory credentials are set. Authorization allows the server to operate within the domain network. Select the Use the following user credentials option and enter the appropriate credentials if not automatically filled. Click Commit to authorize the DHCP server. Click Close to complete the configuration. Again, click Close to close the wizard. Now, let's restart the DHCP server service once. Click Tools, select Services, find the DHCP server service and click on Restart. Perfect. Let me close this. Now, you can open the DHCP management console to configure DHCP scopes and other options. Open the DHCP manager by going to the server manager, clicking on Tools and then selecting DHCP. This will open DHCP Management Console. In the DHCP Manager, you will see the DHCP server listed under DHCP. Next, we will create a DHCP scope. A scope defines the range of IP addresses the DHCP server can assign to clients. To create a new scope, right click on IP version 4 under your server and select New Scope. Follow the wizard, click Next. First, give your scope a name such as Office Network. Click Next. Then define the IP address range. For example, let's use 192.168.2500 to 192.168.25200. I have entered this network range based on my local network configuration. Next, set the subnet mask. Usually, it is going to be 255.255.255.0 for most small to medium networks. Click Next to continue. You can provide IP addresses or IP address range you wish to preserve or exclude from leasing. If you don't need to preserve, leave this empty. Click Next. Specify the lease duration which determines how long a device can use an IP address before needing to renew it. The default is 8 days but you can adjust it based on your network's requirements. In this example, we'll keep it to 8 days. Click Next to continue. Make sure, yes, I want to configure these options now is selected and then click Next to configure the DHCP scope option. Specify the default gateway or router's IP address, which in our example 192.168.25.1. Click Add to add this address as a default gateway's IP address. Click Next. Now specify the domain name and DNS server addresses. The DNS server address ensures that devices on the network can resolve domain names to IP addresses. In most cases, this would be your domain controller's IP address or your preferred DNS server. If the server is domain controller, this will be set automatically. Just double check to ensure it is ok before you proceed. 
In our example, parent domain name is already set, which is must be noob dot lab, and the DNS server's IP address is also correct, which is one nine two one six eight twenty five twenty five. This is the IP address of our domain controller. Click next. If you use Wins in your network, enter the address is here. Otherwise, click next. On the activate scope page, select yes, I want to activate this scope now. Click next and then finish to complete the scope configuration. The IP version four DSCP scope with the name Office Network is created successfully. Now we want to test if the DSCP service on Windows Server 2025 is working as desired. You can configure a Windows, Linux, or Mac clients to obtain an IP address from our DSCP server. In this video, we'll configure a Windows 11 client to obtain its IP address automatically from the DSCP server. Let's go to a Windows 11 client VM. On your Windows 11 client, go to Settings and select Network and Internet. Click on Ethernet. This Windows 11 computer is currently set up with a static IP address 192.168.25.3.1. Let's configure it to automatically obtain an IP address from the DHCP server. Click Add It beside the IP Address Assignment section. Select the IP assignment to Automatic DHCP. Click Save to apply the settings. Your client computer is now set to obtain its IP address automatically from the DHCP server. Let's verify that the Windows 11 client has successfully received an IP address from the DHCP server. Open a command prompt by pressing Windows R key, typing CMD and hitting enter. In the command prompt, type command ipconfig/all and press enter. Look for the DHCP server entry. This should display the IP address of your Windows Server 2025 domain controller. confirming that the client has received its ip address from the dhcp server here you can see the client has successfully obtained an ip address subnet mask default gateway and dns server information from the dhcp server you can also see the lease obtained and lease expired timestamp we can also confirm that windows 11 client computer has obtained an ip address from the local dhcp server from the dhcp server itself Let's go back to our Windows Server 2025 domain controller. Expand IP version 4 scope and click on Address Leases. Verify that Windows 11 client is listed with the client IP address 192.168.25.100. We can also see the MAC address of our Windows 11 client computer. Let's confirm the IP address on Windows 11 client computer. It is 192.168.25.100. So we have successfully installed and configured DHCP service on Windows Server 2025 domain controller. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, leave a comment below and we will be happy to help. Happy learning.